I went to college near Central Park, and I would eat lunch there practically every day that I could. And uh, I just loved it, just loved it. And I thought one day I'd like to live in one of the apartments right around Central Park. Well, this is just as good. Imagine living here in the trendy Brooklyn neighborhood of Park Slope, in an apartment overlooking Prospect Park, only to be told to get out. A notice came out, I believe, um, indicating that on the 23rd of this month, we were going to be expected to have vacated. As far as I'm concerned, uh, like Alice, I'm not moving. And I have to always flash, I don't run over her cute little tail. <laughs> Alice and Anne-Marie are just two of the five tenants left here at Prospect Park Residence, an assisted living facility once home to 120 elders. Why wouldn't you leave? Because I'm stubborn. I don't fight. I don't do anything. I just save and put. If they want me out, I'll stay put intentionally. <laughs> now, Alice and Anne-Marie said the landlord announced the evictions two years ago when he said he would be selling the building to a condo developer. The main expectation was to end my days here. And uh, that uh, has been uh, sort of the rug pulled out from under because now I don't know what's going to happen. I can definitely see why you don't want to leave. <laughs> All of this was done secretly yeah. until they announced the closing and said everyone had 90 days to get out. Now the landlord at the center of all this, his name is Haisha Deich. He is a CEO of Beachwood Acquisitions and a lot of people are calling what he's doing here unethical. This is a guy who marketed his building as you can age in place. You will be able to live out your natural life here. No one told them that by the way you have no rights, the Department of Health can just rubber stamp this and you can be Evicted. Now we reached out to the landlord for comment and we've yet to hear back, but he's told to other media outlets that he's always followed state law and the cost of running the facility just became too much. In the meantime, Ms. Goldener will continue fighting on behalf of the tenants. She'll be in court next week. If um, Alice left, would you? Oh, I can't even think about it. She and I would be leaving together under duress <laughs> unless one of us goes for other reasons, which I don't want to think about. Yeah. Well, everybody needs a best friend. <laughs> yeah.